What's up, guys? Let me refresh and make sure we are set here. I'm a little early, which is good. Better than late on some of the other shows. All right, turn that off. It looks like we're good. Let me know you can see me. You can hear me. It feels weird doing this on a Tuesday. I'm not going to lie. Like, you know, Wednesdays like, is like our, our day, our time. This is where we reflect on Ross Fines. And on a Tuesday, uh, it's just awkward. But since you're here and people that don't show up because it is a Tuesday, they're going to miss out on three. Not one, not two, three giveaways today. Uh, since last week, we had some pretty good uh, super chat, too, that filled in for that. So I was going to do mine anyway, and then we got some other two. So three total today. All right, so let me uh, see who's here for our uh, random special edition Tuesday show. Uh, Grant, what's up? Uh, let's see, old B6607, AJ, Ron J, Emerson, Supreme Donuts, uh, Eugene, what's up? Will and uh, Jimmy Extra Grands and Nick Nicklaus 77. Uh, Gritty Girl Boss, what's up? Good to see you in the chat. Zombies, Jimmy Ron J, Jason, Barry, Joe, Bampino. Uh, let's see, X Binby and Giovanni's here. Hey, Panda Rose, still kicking it. Sports, uh, true. Hopefully, I said your name right. Giovanni Kid and Robert Faith Lopez killing it out there. Barry, Kathleen, James, Brandon, uh, Layla, let me see, Lion Sports, Justin Pacman, who won last week on the giveaway, Corey, James Baller, fl Finds, Flips, and Thrifts, uh, DG Picker, man, more people coming in, <laughs> um, John Fernando, what's up, Cisco, MC Thrifts, a Dapper Fanatic, and uh, Christine, good to see you too. Um, See Derek, Matt Stees, Hustle Hard 23, Luis, more people coming in. And let's start the show because we got a lot to get to today. And screen share, entire screen, get this out of the way. Okay, let me refresh, make sure I'm not frozen. And we are good. Okay, get this out of the way. All right, starting off, District Deals, what's up? And Ross Shellington and Sin City Hustlers. Okay, opening. SpongeBob and Nike Kyrie collection releases in August. Smash or pass for the collection or to resell. What do we think? So this is already next month. And you can see I think I think they're fired. I don't know how limited they're gonna be, or maybe they're not gonna be limited at all. So I don't really know for like resell value, but for collection. Um are you going to pick up any of these? So let's see. Smash. I want for me. Oh, man. They're awesome. So, you know, Patrick, SpongeBob. I mean, everything's here. I think Mr. Krabs gets like a Kyrie low for some reason. Um, so, yeah. Let me know. Let's see. Past Kyrie fives are ugly. It's from Zombies. Smash into my closet. There we go. Love them. Smash for resale. Pass and pass. Thumbs down. Smash for the collection. Uh, let me see. It's so, considering the what creator passed away over time, definitely more worth money. Could be. Uh, when did this change to Tuesday? So this is only today. We're doing a Tuesday, and next week I don't know what's gonna happen for a live show. Uh, since uh, since I'll be in eBay open, I don't know what we're gonna do. Trying to work that out. If I'm gonna have one or not, I have time to do a live show. But and even if I did, it wouldn't be the same quality. So I don't know for next week. But today, because I can't do it tomorrow, I had to do it for a Tuesday. All right, SpongeBob, let's go to the next one. So word of the week, Prime. And only Prime because of Prime Day. And if you're you know, a seller on Amazon, Amazon FBA, Merch by Amazon, all of that, um, what, did you have a good Prime Day yesterday and today? Have the sales been great? let me know in the comments but ebay has been taking shots on them all week i don't know if anybody's really noticed some people probably don't even care or probably haven't even seen uh their commercial and you know snarky commercial but i don't know i think for me ebay at least what i think about ebay and when i i feel like ebay should just be 
you know, excited and promote their own platform as just being like, you can find anything on eBay. I don't really see them as like, you know, competitor to Amazon. I feel like Amazon's like their own beast. Like Amazon's here trying to take out Walmart. Um, and so for eBay, I don't really see them being like, you know, toe to toe. I feel like eBay just needs to, you know, promote their own thing. Like, hey, you can find anything on our platform and build upon that. Not necessarily, you know, with eBay. I mean, with Amazon. But let me know what you think on this thing. If you even saw it, um, eBay needs to stay in their lane. eBay needs to stop trying to be Amazon. Uh, shots fired. No one noticed eBay. Laugh out loud. Uh, so, yeah, they have their commercial. They kept playing it. You can see their hashtags here. Crashing Prime Day. And, you know, some kind of, you know, the sales that they had today. Maybe your sales increased on eBay, on Prime Day and Amazon. Either one. Um let me see. eBay is 100% of the time never fully functional. eBay is still stuck listening to Marky Mark. That's pretty funny. Uh, it's because eBay algorithms go down during Prime Day. Uh, what's eBay? eBay has been around longer, but they have uh, way different. So, yeah. Taking shots. Anybody noticed? Who knows? All right. Let's get into weekend releases. And I noticed that a lot of these weekend releases that are coming out are select overseas retailers. I don't know how I feel about that. The first one, Fear of God at Nike Air Skyline 2 Lightbone. Um, did anybody pick these up? Uh, not this color, because this one's barely releasing, but any other colors of this? Uh, 150 retail and comes out Thursday, July 18th. So two colorways that released back in December 2018. Um, if you picked up any of that to resell over the collection. Uh, but this one, select overseas retailers, uh, I don't know, <laughs> uh, bricks from Nicholas, exactly. All right, next one. KD12 EYBL. I think there's going to be two colors to this shoe. So two vibrant colorways of the KD12 to celebrate its annual Peach Jam basketball tournament. And uh, the logo stamp and the lateral heel. So two different. I think the other color is actually better than this one. I probably should have posted that photo in here. But 150 and comes out on Thursday. Sneakers app and select retailers. Smash or pass collection or to resell. I'm not really too sure. I, I mean, Katie's in general, we know they struggle. Uh, EYBL, we've seen other ones in the past that have made their way down to like Ross and all that, which we'll talk about. But for 150, I don't see it unless it was like limited to the tournament, which these are going to be on the sneakers app. So I don't see that happening. Let's see. Uh, Leonardo, what's up? Kind of dope. Sneakers finds 12. Let's see. Obi one good to finally make it. And let's see. Pass, pass, pass. Yeah, nothing but passes. But speaking of EYBL, we need to get to our giveaway. So first, giveaway, if you're ready. Since more people are even coming into the live show, this is your, probably going to be you know, your best chance since more people are coming in. Uh, these are the people that have won so far in this month of July, so they cannot win again today. They actually cannot win until August. So we're going to mix it up. We want brand new winners every week. So, uh, But congrats that they did win. Justin Pac-Man, uh, Cesar Hernandez, and Crystal Wolf 86 won. So, giveaway number one. You get to choose. Remember, there's three of them. Number one, $25 to Ross with Oh Baby on the gift card. $25 to Burlington. And I wanted to mix it up because there's some times that we just need some hustle fuel. $25 Starbucks card. You get your choice. The first winner gets to pick whatever they want. Okay. Giveaway number one. We talked about EYBL, right? We had the Kobe's. Um, you guys remember DD's discounts? I actually found those uh, Paul George. They were a big size, but I found those there. I also found Peach Jam Kobe's at the outlet. So we've seen uh, some of the Peach Jam, some of the mix up there on the stores and selling for big money. So here is my question. Ready? What does EYBL actually stand for? 
Let me know. The first person that gets it right, pick your gift card. E-Y-B-L. What does it stand for? And you will win. And <laughs> we'll see the answers that come in. People are probably going to try to be funny on this one. If you do or you don't know what it stands for. Whoa, I almost I want to show the answer. Uh, <laughs> and let's see. So according to my screen share, let me see. The first answer I have is Mercurial Venom, Elite Youth Basketball League. You are 100% correct. Mercurial Venom. And who won last month and now won again. And remember, you new winners every month. But congrats to you, Mercurial Venom. Let me know which one you want in the chat right now so I can put it away. Because the next winner, then we'll see what other two they can decide on. Uh, so Mercurial Venom will let us know which one uh, he wants. And then we'll have the other two for later. Not fair. That was too easy. They're going to, uh, the next one's going to be a little bit harder. And then the last one is going to be pretty easy. So you get to choose Burlington, Ross, or Starbucks. Mercurial Venom. You can choose one. I just showed up one of the three. And then the next two, I will save for the other two giveaways. Um, but so there it is Elite Youth Basketball League. Uh, Eugene, 10 bucks. Super chat. Thank you for that. And we'll I'll throw that in for the next one, uh, for the next giveaway, which is going to be awesome as well. So really good stuff. I mean, picking the gift card. So there we go. Uh, Eugene Smith, appreciate it. All right, let's get back into weekend releases. Uh, Undercover Nike Daybreak Bright Citron. If I said that right. 160. It feels like we've been talking about these undercover... Uh, like the last month, last four weeks. Uh, Mercurial Venom's taking Ross. So Ross is gone. We got two left. And we saw the other one. Which one was it that did okay? Some of them on the resale value. Uh, it's because this back part. This part is just whack right here. This thing's wild. Overseas retailers anyway. So that doesn't really affect us. Uh, pass and pass. Ew. Hard pass. Next one. Uh, PG3 NASA 50th. So we get like an all silver with the NASA on the tongue. 120 sneakers app, other select retailers. Uh, let's see. 50th anniversary of humans landing on the moon. And official NASA logos. Is this going to be, I don't even think this is, all the PGs, this is going to be hyped up or anything, right? Um, and the color sick. I mean, it's, it's clean. But are we going to see some hype into it? I don't see it happening. 120 retail comes out on Saturday. Um, PG's even selling after Zion blew those out. Yeah, they have been selling. I uh, wonder what Zion's going to wear this year. Next one. So Pharrell Adidas Solar Inner Light Pack 160 comes out on Saturday as well. And uh, Pharrell, let's see, this returns retails this weekend monochromatic colorways inner light pack and so we got that right there embroidery on the toe box so smash your pass for the collection uh gotta specify humans yeah hey area 51 thing's getting wild uh, that's for another live show uh but for this one smash your pass collection um the resale i don't know but this one returns to retail this weekend i don't know i mean it's okay I guess. Next one. Jordan 13 Lakers 190. And being a Lakers fan, you would think that I'd be really hyped up about this. Like, all right, cool. Lakers colors. It's hard for me to picture and see and enjoy, you know, classic signature models, Jordan models in in a rival type of color so like you've seen like seattle supersonics or orlando magic lakers <sighs> just not feeling them and i feel like these are going to go to the outlets like i don't even see them being that that awesome i think people i mean the uh the gray fours um i think they're also doing like jordan 12 in like a royal blue um, instead of the red, which we've, of course we've been used to. I don't know how I feel about this. Let me know in the chat, smash or pass on this one. 
Where's the yellow? It's only on the bottom on the circle logo. There's no other yellow in this. Um, not even the tongue. I think the Jumpman's still purple or black. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's it's just random. Let's see, throw up in my mouth a bit. Exactly. Uh, DG Picker, thanks for your hard work. Uh, let's see, love watching. Thanks for the bolos. So appreciate that. 10 bucks, DG Picker. And Alfonso, $5 for Let's Talk About Area 51 instead of store ranks this week. Area 51. That, like I said, that's totally another live show. That's I think it's hilarious seeing all the memes that are going on. And <laughs> the people are like, I think what um, X-Files and uh, Keanu Reeves, they've been getting all the celebrities involved. It's pretty hilarious. Let's go to Area 51, fool, from Carlos. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, uh, in Nevada, going to Las Vegas for eBay Open, I will not be going to Area 51. Area 51 thing is dumb, Sin City Hustlers. I think it's supposed to be in uh, September. Live stream Area 51. Next one. So, Concepts and Versace, or Versace, how do you say it? There's, I mean, I've seen two ways, but Chain Reaction. Has anybody ever rocked these? Look at that price, over a grand. And comes out on Friday, concepts stores and concepts.com. Uh, for these colorway is uh inspired by the green dress that Jennifer Lopez wore to the 2000 Grammy Awards. There's the inspiration hard pass, so smash or pass collection for these. Uh, why do those exist? Pass, pass, hard pass. Um, nasty. <laughs> oh man, these these are crazy. And check out that right there. The whole like chain bottom part. Wild. Uh, two chains and two chains voice. That dress was ugly from Christine, letting us know how she feels. Straight L. Hell nah. There we go. And over a thousand bucks. Let's see. It feels like JLo's booty when you wear them from Corey. Interesting. Uh, this is like Puff Daddy. JLo era. Uh, $5. Thanks for the great content towards buying Hustle B some stamina for the basketball game. Still kicking it sports. Uh, yeah, me and Ken talked about that. Like, are we going to be able to play? Like, are we in shape? Are we going to need oxygen tanks? What are we going to need? Um, it's going to be rough. I think the only one that's actually ready to play and in shape is Jake. You know what to flip it. He's been practicing like the last two months. Um, so that's going to be rough for us. All right, next one. Here we go. Atmos Nike Air Max 1 Animal 3.0 Pack only at Complex Con Chicago. In the chat, are you going to Complex Con? I need to know. I want to know. And let me see. So we get Leopard Orange, Green Cow, and tiger blue. I think people are saying that green cow is low key fire. Uh, but these are the three that are coming out. I'm excited to see what the uh, resale looks like for these. And it says uh, Comics Con is a waste. Nah, cop. Going to try my damnedest from Giovanni. There we go. Uh, Fugly coming from a Chicago resident. That's from Lucas. Complex Con is a waste. Think of the Complex Con though. At least the videos that I've seen, YouTubers, you know, up in there, Complex Con, whether they have early access or not, I've seen them just waiting in line, in one line, for most of the day. I'm like, man, can you even enjoy everything else that's going on or maybe some different things? Or you just got to wait in that single line uh, for whatever drop you're going for. And not only that, sometimes they just shut down a complete you know, whole setup because of like people getting angry and fights and I don't know what. Um, but Complex Con Chicago for this one and Off White Nike Air Force One. This one we've already seen. I mean, StockX and Go sky high for these. So these will be released again on Saturday, Complex Con Chicago. Very limited quantities that came out when they were released. I don't know how many will be released for Complex Con. Um, I can guarantee everybody's going to be in line or trying to figure out how they can get this shoe. Um, I mean, the whole animal pack, all of this, 
you definitely want to get. But this one, I'm pretty sure everyone going is going to want to get this. So uh, let me see. Where does Noah's Full Pit? What from? Because Plato's Closet video, what crazy this past weekend. Um, he go. He's in Atlanta area, but he he drives out to different places. So I've seen him go to like North Carolina and I don't, so sometimes he mixes it up. Let me see. Luckily I won't be in Vegas. Everyone got to work. Um, let's see. eBay Joey. What's up? Just came in uh, live from Vegas. Let's see smash pass. Yeah. This one is going to be crazy. Complex con. If you're going, we'll see what happens. Okay. Uh, store updates. Only got one. And it's very sad news. So Nike factory store of the Hagerstown premium outlets will close on Sunday, July 21st, according to recording when calling the retail store. Nike media relations officials did not return phone calls and emails asking for details. So I read an article. There's like a woman that collects, you know, used shoes and she donates them and she drives to this store to donate shoes there. And they collect them up. You know how Nike recycles them. And uh, people have been donating shoes. And now she's like, I have nowhere to take these shoes because my one, you know, Nike outlet that is nearby is closing. So are you near this area in the chat? Tell me. Uh, if you're not, maybe this doesn't really affect you. When me and Ken went out to this area, we didn't um, go to this. But now it's sad because it's closing. So that's, I mean, that sucks. Uh, Barry says, what? That's my outlet. So I don't know. July, that's coming up quick. That's already Sunday. They're giving it one last friends and family, maybe. And then that's it. So that sucks. I'm not too far away. Still kicking at sports. And I'm pretty sure district deals can somewhat make it to this area, right? Uh, let me make sure we're not frozen. Are we good? No, we're not frozen. We're good. Um, so yeah sucks that's the only store updates i have okay let's get into the next one so before we start power rankings there's one there's one thing i gotta tell you so i have a new video this friday now this video is uh partially what i've been working on telling you guys different things to help out the business and this video is going to be uh more about like extra steps I'm doing to grow and how or what, things I went to get to this point and what I want to do to add on to what I'm already doing. So there's a new video this Friday. I copped over 100 pairs of, and I'm leaving it here censored until Friday. But I can tell you this, better than any one of these gift cards, you want to watch this video early like you want to be one of the first people to watch it turn on the notifications anything you need to do because the first 250 people that sign up are the only ones eligible to win for this giveaway um so you're gonna want to you know go quickly when it comes out on friday don't forget about it sign up and i really want uh people from the live show to sign up because I'm not going to put giveaway in the title or anything because that only brings in people that never really watch me. They only, they only subscribe because they want free stuff. I want people that actually support the channel. They've been watching the channel to win this. So just putting that out there. RBX and Shocks Gravity, Fat Farms, Filas, man, Lugs, uh, <laughs> Crocs. Uh, Kuji slides, nice predictions in here. Steve Madden's troops, <laughs> uh, Levi's and one high top sock darts. Man, a lot of good predictions in there. <laughs> um, you could win, you could win Levi's or lugs. So, yeah, <laughs> there we go. Air Force One, the high, uh, Travis Scott, track Scott's, Travis Scott, Supra's. Shack shoes from Kmart. Oh man. All right. Uh, this is going to be the same time. Usually I release videos like 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So around that time, the video will come out. Okay. Now, damn, giveaway number two already? I don't even think we're just flying by this live show. I don't like this. Giveaway number two is quick. Giveaway number two. You get to choose Burlington or. Starbucks. Now, this one is going to be a little bit harder, especially if you haven't been finding this 
type of shoe in your area. So right now, everybody and their grandma has been sourcing Marshalls and finding Kobe's at Marshalls. Shout out to Ross Shallington for this photo and showing everybody the Kobe uh, 11 Elite. So for those of you that have been finding Kobe 11s, I need to know from ranked, from top to bottom, not really ranked, but in order, top to bottom, the names of these shoes. So if you've been sourcing Marshalls, this might be a little easy for you. If you haven't been seeing any of these in Marshalls, then this is going to be very difficult. But from top to bottom, I need the names. We know they're Kobe 11s. What are the names of these Kobe's? So all three of them. I need all three. Let me make sure I have my answers right. All right, I have my answers. And let me see. Easy, black, white, black, and white. Kobe Black Knight. I'm screwed. I haven't found any. I haven't found any either. Either is Ken. Um, so it's been tough. Black Ice for B. No, that's wrong. Kobe Mamba Sita. <laughs> Freaking will. Pass, pass, and pass. <laughs> Kobe 11. Kobe Black Knight. No. Kobe Black, black Ice. No. Uh, let me see. Black Space. Pale Horse and Mark Parker, you have won. Go steals and deals right here. I'll take a screenshot right after Texas Pete and in between Bampino. So go steals and deals. Black Space, Pale Horse, and Mark Parker, you have won. All right, there it is. The official names of the Kobe 11s. This one, well, like I said, was going to be a lot harder the last giveaway is super easy, so don't worry about that one. This one was this one was tough. But go steals and deals. Which one do you want? Burlington or Starbucks? So let me know, and then we'll keep the last one for the very last giveaway. So Will, I was close. Diaper Fanatic, so damn close. Uh, black eyes, white eyes, blue eyes from Ron J. Oh, man. Yeah, this one was tougher. I'm not going to lie. Like, I, even I wouldn't have known this one. I haven't even seen any of this stuff. I started making up names. Uh, let me see. Houseleby, what's up? And where is he? Where is he? Uh, steals and deals. Okay, steals and deals, let me know. We'll continue the live show. Oh, he'll take the Burlington. All right, he's taking Burlington. So we have a Starbucks card left for the last giveaway. Okay, let's get into power rankings and where we're at. So last week we saw Burlington just dominate. Ross has really fallen the last couple of, what, two, three weeks. They've gone down to number three. Marshalls has been bringing the heat with the Kobe's. So this is where we were last week. Let's get into this week and what's going on. So Didi's discounts actually downgraded them uh, one or half a star. And TJ Maxx stays the same at two and a half. TJ Maxx, it looks like foam posits, at least the silver ones for 40 bucks, are the steals right now. So uh, K-Dub deals with uh, DD's discounts. Ultra Boost, which I think we saw these last week, has like that, I don't know, part here in the middle, like this little gap thing. And then um, Air Max 97s. So 97s and Ultra Boost, DD's discounts. Have you been checking DD's discounts for some heat? And looks like, hey, liked by Will. So DD's discounts, that was the only tag we had. We didn't get any other DD's discounts uh, tags and finds. Next one, let's go into TJ Maxx. So TJ Maxx, $40 for the Dodgers jersey. Mitchell and Ness throwback jerseys, though, which is awesome. I didn't even know TJ Maxx was getting into those type of jerseys. We usually seen soccer jerseys and some of them were priced high 49 59 but mitchell and ness uh classic baseball mike piazza jerseys cool definitely take that uh, 40 bucks and then uh luis resells with vapor max and some people are saying there's a big flood on these personally i haven't seen them we've seen the different colors i think there's a blue one as well in uh, the vapor max so um would you have copped is what he asked. $79. 
And last for TJ Maxx, Daily Finds 69, K-Dub Deals again, and Souls and Stitches. So looks like a nice little pickup. Looks like, what, one or two pairs here, another three pairs here, and then two pairs here. 40 bucks for the silver foam posits. We talked about the foams weeks ago. Probably the best color option out of all the, like, you know, discount retailer stores that we've seen foam posits. So definite pickup, 40 bucks. And even if you see more listings starting to show up, Stay patient on them. This is the better colorway we've seen um, out there. All right, cop for the flex. <laughs> All right, next one. All right, now we're into Ross and Ross. Like I said, I think they've been. I think they've fallen uh, the last couple of weeks. And the funny thing is, too, is that um, Ross right now. I think they're having Ross and Burlington. At least the people that I know are in their like um employee discount phase or something and when they do this i don't really see them adding a lot of new inventory it's almost like hey you work for us but we're not going to add new stuff or cool stuff for you to pick up during the discount now i might i might be wrong maybe maybe it's true you can get maybe there is new stuff but during the other times that they have the discount i've been sourcing and i'm like i've seen the same stuff the whole weekend like what's going on here um, but in the chat, you can verify if that's true or not. Um, let me see. Hack in the Matrix copped a bunch of those crumbs. Yeah, he did. Um, I saw that on his... Uh, he didn't tag me, though, but I did see it on IG. Uh, Burlington comes into Vegas Rainbow Area from Sin City Sorcerer Lopez. Let me see. Anyone who jumped on that finish line, 50% discount sales. And Hustle B says, shh. And... <laughs> Let me see. Glenn, I saw someone use your picks for a phone posit listing on eBay. Doesn't surprise me. These guys are savages out there. I uh, I got two people to take them down. And now I'm going to have to go through the listings again to get people to take them down again. All right, Ross Finds. Uh, A7 Resales. Uh, Mr. Steal Your Finds and Maximo Finds on the cleats. And 39 bucks. Some of them are a little mix. Uh, AG bottoms, awesome. No complaints there. But I think there's less and less cleats maybe showing up. Um, I think, at least from the latest tags. I remember during maybe two weeks ago, I got so many tags on cleats at Ross. Now these are like the only three or four tags that I got. Um, so we'll keep going. Maybe there's less cleats out there. I don't know. Next one. There's a new Ross in Chicago next to Burlington on Friday. Wild. Uh, Mercurial Venom. Uh, Coconut Key Kicks for Ultra Boost. Women's Ultra Boost. Uh, different styles than the ones at DD's discounts. $45. And then Don Alpha Cleat found the same ones. A nice little handful right there. Same price at $45 for the Ultra Boost in women's. Let's see, next one, Stevie D reselling with the Zach Ertz Eagles salute to service jersey. 40 bucks, retail 170. Uh, man, football jerseys, are they on the rise? Are they coming back? Football season is what, preseason next month? I think we're like 50, I think I saw the countdown was 54, 53 days away from football. Oh, yes, football, finally. Okay, so that one, and then C uh, CNJ Enterprises with Air Force One. It says, uh, getting ready for rainy days. These are crazy. I remember I saw them, I was like, what is that? What's going on here uh, with these? Are they 50 bucks? Yeah, 50 bucks. Um, pretty soon you've seen these in the wild. Uh, but CJ Enterprises and Stevie D reselling on the Ross Fines. And then uh, sh Silent Flipper with grade school foam posits and actually that one's pretty cool but also lebron's so silent flipper and uh electric relish with uh foam posits that go down to clearance 40 bucks and those are going to go down as long as people aren't picking them up they're going to keep getting reduced and i wonder where they're going to go down to eventually uh but there we go seven and a half on the foams and Souls and Stitches and Smooth Sailing. 
And people are saying there is going to be a flood if there isn't already. Um, yes, you guys saw on my Ross video, Project Rock, some of the pants, Jordan jersey. And I also picked up the Air Max Plus. And it looks like we're in it for the long haul on these. And there's going to be, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how many are out there, but quite a bit. And next one, Original Classics, Atlanta, Georgia. Check that out. So $70, looks like a size 11 and a half on the 720s in all black. That's a solid colorway. I like that one. And then Don Alpha Cleat for the kids, Air Max Fire, uh, Air Max 95. So that one. Next one. Let's see. Uh, gold steals and deals for the Air Max flying it. This one's solid. 50 bucks, easy money. And then Luck Ducks, $50, which is also a good price. So Air Max, let me see, Vapor Max Plus. And I've never seen the Vapor Max Plus at Ross. So I'm really happy that we're starting to see, at least someone is starting to see these show up at Ross. It gives me some hope in Ross that these will start to show up. So two solid finds here, very similar colorways, which is kind of random. But uh, there we go, go steals and deals and the luck ducks. Smash that like button, peoples. Yes, smash that like button, helps me out. Make sure we didn't freeze. We're not frozen. We have almost 200 people watching. So hit the like button and we are getting into the last giveaway at the end. Okay. Marshalls, people finding so much heat. I'm like, what's going on here? And I'm, I'm seeing the same things. KD8s over and over and over again. Kobe 10s and that Seattle Seahawks color that I can't stand. All right. I'm watching wearing no pants. Kevin, I'm doing the live show with no pants. It's like, man, that's awesome. All right. Let's go to Don Alpha Cleat, $60. So the Spizikes at Marshalls and Dapper Fanatic. $60 Marshalls and Jordan 30 Jim Red $60 size 11 check out the special paper in there and then uh Don Apocleet Spiz Ikes which I think we've seen a different color in Spiz Ikes but 60 bucks all right next one uh sneaky hustler sneaky super sneaky so uh Air Max 95 that's a pretty clean color I haven't seen that one 60 bucks and uh steven gibson this is what he put not today marshals this is what my marshals looks like lebron 13s kd elite 60 bucks man a hundred dollars on the lebrons marshall's gotta settle down especially with those they're getting crazy with these prices um eugene aka smooth sailing there we go thanks for the info bro so eugene now i, now I can put a name uh, to the IG profile, but smooth sailing, 10 bucks. Thanks for that. And we'll add that on uh, for the next giveaway. Uh, let me see. Found two pairs of Oreo Ultra Boost Laceless for 39 at Marshalls. That's a really good deal. 40 bucks. Steal. All right. Maximo finds. Uh, and daily finds 69. So uh, kicks and more kicks. 10 bucks giveaway for the next show. We'll add it on again. We'll get more gift cards added on every single live show and uh stay tuned for next week because i don't know <laughs> about the live show but for the following one we're definitely having a live show so we'll have these giveaways and the giveaways from friday's video that you're going to watch will all be part of july 31st that wednesday live show so we can catch up after ebay open Okay, so Maximo finds $40 for the Little Posit Pro. And there's one thing I wanted to really talk about with this, not necessarily the shoe, but I'm talking about the box. So have you ever found some shoes with this replacement label? Um, the live show at the blackjack table, no to flip it, of course. Um, in the chat, have you ever seen this replacement label maybe the nike outlets maybe at marshall's so where i'm getting to is that i sold some kobe's which one were these kobe protro i think from the outlet and the box it was original box but it had this replacement label and i sent it in to goat and what did goat say that this is not considered 
uh, new with box because of the label. Now, Stevie D says Goat took no problem with replacing label. They gave me some crap for that label. And I was like, come on, man. Like, it's the original box. What's going on here? And Goat tries to be all, like, cool, too, with their photos that they send you back. Like, the guy's wearing gloves and stuff. And, like, oh, don't don't want to mess with the shoe and everything. And um, I had to do – I just – I was like, I don't want them shipped back. I did the consignment thing, and then they ended up selling, like, a week later, which was good. But I was kind of surprised. I was like, I mean, now we're going to pick in the label? I think it just depends on who receives the shoe and how anal they are. Um, because I've had some pretty, uh, crappy boxes go through and no problems, but for this one, they were not having it. All right. Next time, because you're hustler hacks. That's from hustle. Um, all right. Daily find 69. And these we've seen people finding them really good prices. Some of them, I think Lex on eBay says, uh, looks like you stayed away from the size 15s, which we saw a lot of those even threw in the famous makers tag in there. There we go. All right, uh, still kicking it sports with uh, Marshall's find at Nike Lunar Epic flying it for 60 bucks and uh, Soul Searching uh, Searchings on with the catcher's chest. So looks like if they go down to clearance, which it looks like they did on red tag, nice, good steals there. Um, so looks like a pretty good profit on those for leg protectors and the catcher's chest protectors. Uh, so there you go. Two of them there. Let me see. You know what to flip it? What did he say? Uh, Goat picks his bright ass surgical light. <laughs> I know. They man, they really want to like dig into all your finds and make sure that like they're top notch. And make sure you take off your $40 uh, little marker on the bottom. Take that off every time. Okay, hustle bin. And flipping dollars, flipping dollars, not the Kobe I was looking for. Yep, that happens, especially in our marshals around here. But Kobe AD uh, team basketball promo is what I ended up finding. And then the Kobe AD NXT. Uh, 60 bucks though. It's not bad price. Complete with box. Um, did you already discuss Nike friends and family? We didn't talk about it yet. Next one, uh, Sneaker Finds 12. So now we're getting into Kobe Heat. The people have just been killing it out there. Black History Month. Um, all right, so Sneaker, Sneaker Finds 12. Even though at $100, yes, you're picking these up. Uh, yeah, A7 resells, 60 bucks. Kobe 11s for the summer. There we go. And then Faith Lopez killing it. With the Tinkers at $80. So two more after we already saw, I think, last week uh, when Faith had uh, the back of the car opened. Flexing, I think, like four or five of the Kobe 11s. Um, hustle bin now with the Kobe 9 high EXT for 100 with that snakeskin. And then Ross Shallington and District Deals killing it with the cart full of Kobe's. And 59 bucks for Black Space, which we just talked about that on the giveaway. Man, I really wish. You know what? Hopefully me and Ken, we've got to find something. These Kobe's, man. Kobe's just easy money. Uh, let me see. Let me go back. Uh, Goat and StockX are phony. StockX charge you 15% whether a shoe pass or not. They don't even say your shoes are fake. Now they just say it doesn't meet their standards. They are ripoffs. You know what the funny thing is, though? Uh, going back to that, um, maybe I should just do a whole video on the shoes that I got sent back to me and why. <laughs> so I got some Air Max 95s at the outlet, and I sold them in StockX, and I was like, all right, cool. And then um, <laughs> I got an email, and it said, weird odor coming from the shoe. And I was like, weird odor, like... I just got these from the outlets. You know, how, how weird can these smell? Um, and I got them back, and they smelled like straight ass. Like these, man, they just did not play around. I was like, what's going on here? I don't remember sending them like this. So I don't know if they messed around with them, sent them back, or what. But, yeah, like a super, super funky smell to them. 
And I was like, all right, what am I going to do with these now? Um, and I was like, I got to find the receipt, what happened. And then, uh, yeah, I, I was able to go back, return them, and got my money back, and I was good to go. But that was the first time I got an email that said weird odor or some sort of odor thing. Uh, don't make a video about those. So I was like, oh, man. All right, but random story. Okay, let's go back. Uh, Kelly says they denied my shoe because I'm missing a shoe tree. Oh, man, these guys are getting picky now if that happened. Uh, that's what Febreze is for. Even then, like, they want it to smell like, uh, I guess, nice, clean store smell or even the Nike factory smell. Like, they don't want it to smell like anything else. Um, so, random. Okay. Oh, Marshalls, this is the last one? It is. Hustle Bin. Four pairs, Air Max 98 Wild West. Look at that price, 50 bucks. Um, great comps, fire, nice score, amazing. 50 bucks for these Hustle Bin. All right. Now that we confused with Hustle B, Hustle Bin. Okay. Burlington. This is our last one. And there's quite a bit of tags on here. People have been finding carts full of fire. Okay. Don Alpha Cleat LeBron. I don't even know these are still around. I didn't even find them the first time. But if they're making their second round, I'm all for it. But uh, and good money on these LeBrons if you happen to find them out there in the wild. And they look a little small, though. I don't know if these are these kids. They look a little weird on the like air bubble units here on the bottom. I don't know. It doesn't say on the photo. Uh, but in men's, if they're coming back, I'm for it. Next one. Merch Mayhem. $45. These are in kids. Vapor Max 2019 in pure plat platinum size six. So 45 bucks compare value 127. Not bad for kids. Maybe for the collection, if you were a smaller size, pick those up. Uh Klausy Kick. So Vapor Max Premier. I think we've seen this one. $70. Uh it's kind of funny though. The Burlington, uh, what are they guys called in the front? Loss prevention guys. Um, he was wearing, he was wearing these and I was like, I wonder where he got those predictable next one. Booker finds one came out just a straight fire on here. Uh, LeBron's 95s, Vapor Max plus 97s. Uh, I think district deal showed us that one. Right. Uh, but pure fire all the way around. This guy got his own, his own little slide thing, uh, with, uh, nothing but, Fire finds. So there we go. Next one. Uh, Ron 23 sells and Carolina kicks both with the cleat finds. A uh, little mix, tempos, and then the vapor elites. Let me see. Next one. So Kid Icarus Mining and uh, Reviver Labs, if I said that right, Houston, Texas. So my store had a lot of these indoors, uh, CR7 indoors there. And then look at this, cart full, 95s, uh, looks like some golf in there, and nothing but cleats. I've been finding quite a bit of these as well. Holding on to them, Vapor, Vapor uh, 360 Elite, hold on to them. Uh, no need to rush those out and take minimal money. Next one. So looks like a little mix, Phantoms, uh, Tempos in there. Nice little mix in here. Uh, Booker finds again. Mercurial 12 Pro, but looking at it, it has the Vapor 360. So these are better than the Pros. So there you go, 25 bucks. Uh, still kicking at sports. There you go, props to my daughters for finding these. The Nike Air Safari, 40 bucks. And then Mile High Hustle, which is he in the chat? Mile High Hustle? There he is. He is in here. Um, and uh, 55 bucks. So South Beach Miami Vice Runners, nice and clean. Even put a uh, little filter on there to get some 80s vibes. <laughs> Next one, Scotty Flippin. So what is in the chat? I'm asking. What is the deal with the $10 um, like dual soccer ball thing that we have here? Um, some people did find them. I just find it hilarious that they would put this on the floor or wherever they are at Burlington I mean, this thing looks like a full, huge, heavy, like, is it heavy? Like, wooden case thing here. Ten bucks? 
uh, super cheap. Uh, but even finding this or not, that is that first off, it's amazing. But second, I don't know what it's limited to, and I don't know where they have I'm more than likely in like active wear with like other soccer balls and stuff. I've been looking, I haven't seen them. Uh, but that's just like a crazy thing to pick up. What the hell is that exactly? But a uh, ten dollars cheap, too. Um, I only pick up pros and elites. There we go. Um, so should you be picking up the pros? That's totally up to you. I mean, I, I can totally see it if you do want to pick them up and you're selling for 65, 75, 80, if you can get that amount. More than likely, people are selling at like 60 range. But remember, if you're getting them for 20, I think the pros are like $19. Um, you're still doubling up your money if you can get a good sale. So totally up to you and your business model. Some people only focus on the elites. Some people will get both. Up to you. How much to ship that? I know. That thing's wild. And uh, smooth sailing. Jordan Concord uh, slides. Size 7. 17 bucks. Oh. Giovanni said it's not that big. <laughs> I, this thing looks huge. Like, I don't know. Some, like a huge, I don't know, crate wood thing that you'd be struggling to carry. But apparently it's not that big. Uh, Coconut Key Kicks. So Michigan jersey. And it looks like it's sewn. Jordan, Michigan jersey. Football, $40. Burlington Heat. And next one, DZ Toy Box. With uh, the looks like these are like old school Reeboks. Where's Nacho Average finds? He would appreciate something like this. And are those kamikazes? He's asking right here, reseller guy. And uh, old uh, B6607 with Jordan Future low at 18 bucks down on clearance. So don't skip out the clearance finds. There's probably some good stuff right there in the back for you know stuff that people are ignoring. So check that out. People, things that go down to red tag or even double red tag, it looks like. All right, let's see. Uh, Stevie D has sold a White Temple Academy. Academy uh, on Poshmark for 99. Man, Academy, people are paying up. Original Classics, I like this one. Check out the foam posits for men. Paid 60 for them. And a nice, good colorway black with a gold Nike swoosh on there. Um, he did have the receipt for the haters that were saying that they were fake. Um, and the tag, and that is awesome. So foams in men's black and gold, 60 bucks. All right, the Super 6, $40 here. Let's see, 45 and 45 I think these are all, are they all grade school? Six and five and a half. And I think that one's six. So they're all grade school uh, pickups, but 97s, 270s, nice little pickups there. Next one, Mile High Hustle, mixing it up with, looks like, what, golf, football, and the 95s, and then Carolina Kicks with golf, and looks like some, what, a uh, little, what, little Vermel 14 action, so I don't know how much, what the price is, I think 50 bucks. All right, Matt Flips, Air Max 98, that's a wild color, I haven't seen that one, $60. Um, District Deals, have you seen this one? Let me know, because I don't have, I don't think I've seen anybody tag us on this uh, particular color. So that one's wild. Matt Flips got close to showing us his credit card numbers on this one. Very, very close. People can see everything. So barely blocked it, that finger. And then uh, Sneaky Hustler. Good start to the day. Now we're getting into, like, the cart full finds. And the Vapor Max, the 97s. Um, also, the pennies are also in here. So, Cart Finds here, Corey Danger, I Am the Danger, and Cart Finds, man, uh, Vapor Max Plus, Air Max 97, another 97, 95s. These are cool too, because I like the colors and all these. Totally, I mean, they're all different. So, uh, congrats to Corey on this one. I like this. Nice little Cart Find here. And then, let me see, <laughs> Matt Flips, my arch nemesis, dug the pug. That's funny. Me and Matt live within two minutes of each other. That's wild. Probably see each other all the time, sourcing and getting all, I mean, seeing the same. Oh, here it is, that same one. Uh, Hustler Anonymous. And looks like Air Max Deluxe, the ones I've been struggling to move. Air Max 98, Air Max 98. And then we got the pennies. We got the, these I actually did see. 
Um, looks like there's blue one, one, two, maybe three, four, five pairs. I did see that one at my Burlington, and then Air Max ninety eight again. So man, uh, left all seven pairs of the plus, and one of the ninety eight since it got tossed around a little too much. Might have been this one. Usually they get tossed around, they get dirty real quick. All right, let me see. Next one, a uh, Premier seven sixty finds. And mixing it up with the golf. These are crazy. $25 mixing it up. There we go. Tiger Woods back there. Paid in full golf shoes. 25 That's a nice little pickup right there. And then Clousy Kick. So cleats, cleats, and cleats. 97s also thrown in there. And uh, these, I think they're the high end. I think the 360 Elite. And that's it. So you guys saw a giveaway coming up next. But that is it. Burlington, we're done. Burlington, a lot of fire out there. Keep it going and see what uh, you can pick up. So Burlington, number one. Then we went Marshalls, Ross, TJ Maxx, and then DD's Discounts. All right, let me go back up. Anything that I missed before we do the last giveaway? Does Ross in California have good shoes? I'm pretty sure they do. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of competition for California in general. Can't find any Project Rock merchandise or shoes. Where should I look to find it? Um, it looks like Ross and Marshalls are your best bet right now. And backpacks, shoes, some of the tanks might still be out there. And let me see. Anything else that I missed? No? We'll save the question until after the giveaway. Let's get to the giveaway. This is an easy giveaway. So giveaway number three, shout out again to the people that won. Mercurial Venom, you cannot win. And Souls, where are you? I forgot. <laughs> Souls and Steels, hopefully I said your name right. You can also not win for the rest of the month. But um, here we go. Giveaway number three, Starbucks gift card. Are we ready? Drum roll. Okay, eBay open. It's coming up quick. There's lovely eBay logo. All you gotta do is tell me, what year was eBay founded? That's all I need to know, what year? And I'm just gonna wait, cause someone should know this one, quick. Year though, not, not day, year. Uh, let's see. 97. Uh, whoa, man, this one quick. Uh, let me see. Oh, man. And now, now I got to like, I don't know why some are approve or message approval. Why is that happening? Okay. Uh, let's see. 97, 94, 99, 1989, 1994, 1998. Uh, lucky on three legs. 1995. You are correct. So... Uh, September 3rd, 1995, 23 years ago. In 1995, I was nine years old. That means Hustle B was three years old. And Know It to Flip It was 23 years old. So that is, time just flies by. But 1995, you had one lucky on three legs. You get a Starbucks gift card for $25. Very nice. So, um, let me see. Uh, I was one from Kelly. I was 15. Texas Pete. Uh, Sin City Hustlers, I was 23. Me and the B the same age. I wasn't born yet. This guy. Uh, so, yeah, September 3rd, 1995. Uh, old man, <laughs> seven months old, Phil. Fighting in Afghanistan, man, neat. Um, so he wasn't even born, Jason. Uh, Note to flip it is a Knight Rider of the Reseller game. Oh, man, that's funny. What's Jake? So, all right, let me get this out of the way and stop the screen share. We're done. Any last questions, anything? Um, so I am going to send out the email uh, for basketball and what's going to happen with that. We do want to hang out and do something after it's all said and done. Uh, I don't think we're going to, no one's going to have time to shower or anything. It's so just going to be like super smelly and sweaty and go wherever after that. I don't really don't know. Um, but I'm going to send out that email. 
uh, probably this weekend, and then we'll get ready and eBay open. Everybody that's going will definitely see you there. Uh, me, B, and Noah to flip it. And let me see. Friends and family tomorrow, extra 30% off on top of the 30 that's already always off at the clearance store. So what they're going to do is just give you one. More than likely, you know, clearance store or the back wall, they just don't have the sale. And they're just like, yeah, 30% off. It's very rare when they do that, like extra 20 plus friends and family. Um, so that's just going to be the 30. Uh, let me see. You should come up to Seattle. Oh, man, the last time I went to Seattle was for the Merch by Amazon conference, and we didn't get to do anything cool because it was like the whole conference taking up a lot of time. But I got to do that. Uh, Bampino says you finessed me. So you're saying that you won the giveaway? Let me go back up. I mean, I'll double check, but the thing is, is that it's different on what I can see and what you can see uh, because of how fast they come in. Uh, let me see. So I can go on the screen share. I'll send whoever wants to see the screen share. And uh, there it is, 1995. I mean, looking at three legs, I have it as the first one. Um, going through the other ones, I didn't see any other ones until later on. And by then it was too late. So um, let me see. Thank you for the advice on this baseball catcher leg guard. They have them down to 56. Yeah, that's a discount. Uh, plus 10% pl and $20 coupon, man. Um, let's see. Uh, Nike in San Diego County on some bull. Doug the Pug. Oh, man. San Diego. Always up to something, aren't they? Uh, let me see. What are your thoughts on friends and family? Anything you might look out for? Um, the thing is with friends and family is that it, it, it comes down to the research just like anything else. And uh, with friends and family, though, you should already have an idea if you've been going, if you only have one outlet, you should already have an idea of what you plan to pick up already by doing the research and seeing what your store has been, uh, you know, adding in new inventory and whether that's going to help you or not. Now, any of the back wall stuff, I have no clue. That's going to be different per store. Um, but take your time. Like, don't, you know, skip through everything because, you know, there's other accessories and clothing and stuff you could probably make money on. So just go through it all, do the proper research. Don't rush on stuff. People get like so like out of control and wild because they see people running in and picking up whatever. Um, I've seen people literally have no clue and just pick up what somebody else is picking up just because they're getting it and not even doing research, not even knowing what's going on. And I've seen people straight up lose out because of that. And I think it's hilarious. Like, you're just going to pick up stuff because other people are? I mean, that's that's really dumb as far as the business model goes. Uh, let me see. Where are we? Um, should I go to outlet or clearance store? Both. Um, always. Don't skip out on any of them. I mean, factory store might be better than clearance, but you still go to clearance. Let me see. My outlet's picked up the Laney Fives. I think ours got that too. Uh, Glenn, how big is your pug? Man, this guy's an animal now. This guy just, he just eats. And let me see. I think I had a picture of him, uh, <laughs> of what he's uh, what he's up to. Let me see. I'll find that. Next one. Let me see. Hawaii meetup. That'd be dope. Yeah, no to flip it. And uh, B, going to Hawaii. And let me see. What else was going to show? Oh, yeah, I was going to also show. That, uh, where is this? Oh, never mind. I'll find it right now. Uh, on the other thing I was going to, I was going to show you guys. And let me see anything else. Can we still use the app more than one factory store, right? Uh, this one says one per, what? One per customer, a one-time use. I don't know if that's going to be, maybe just for the Wednesday. I mean, they rarely do like the day before, only sometimes. So I don't know. I guess we'll find out tomorrow what they're, uh, what the rules are going to be. And let me see what else is going to say. Back wall. Oh, do I get 20% off for my birthday and 30% off back wall at my Nike outlet? They should honor that for birthday. Um, wait, 20% off birthday and back wall. Yeah, they should, they should honor that no matter what. Um, 20% off for B-Day. Well, some of them got the different one. Some of the people got 20% off birthday. Some people got the $20 for birthday. Um, so I don't know 
what's going on with that? They mixed it up with that. Uh, let me see. Before we're able to use it multiple times, multiple stores. Yes. And I don't know if they fixed it. Yeah, we're going to find out tomorrow um, how that or what they're, what kind of rules they're going to do. Uh, let me see. So here's here's a picture of the pug if you want to see him. And he has like that uh, bone in his mouth and it looks like a cigar. Uh, but yeah, he's getting huge. <laughs> let me see. They honored my birthday and, and gave me no discount. I asked too. Yeah, some people are going to give you, well, if it's San Diego, some people are going to give you problems. Is there etiquette at the outlet? Uh, making a pile on a bench frowned upon? Certain amount you can pile up? Um, if there's any etiquette, definitely in my outlets does not, they don't, they do not care. They're just adding on people are just adding on piles, stuffing things in the corner, making their own piles. So I haven't seen any like etiquette on that. Um, I guess every outlet is different. Every manager is different. Some outlets, they get mad because I record some people don't. So it just depends. How do I get friends and family card? This is my first time. Uh, some people got it through the app. You can also check the email. And you can also get it in person from associate if you know them as far as being friends and family. Or you can buy them on eBay. Uh, so there's your like four options to get one. But buying on eBay might be tough now because it's already going to happen. So you're going to have to, unless you can get it from someone very close, maybe check local Facebook marketplace. Maybe someone has it for cheap, like three bucks, five bucks. Um, you can check that as well. But if the app one works in unlimited amount, then you'll be fine with that. You don't even need the cards. Let me loan in a room with the San Diego manager. That's funny. Uh, Curtis says he has a ton of them. There we go. And let me see. Let's see. Pampino says it shows different. I DM the screenshot. Uh, my hookups up. Uh, no problem. I mean, I'll show you my screenshot. Like I said, it's going to be different um, for uh, for everybody on on their on their um what is it called feed and what happens um let me see i'll go back here and i mean i'll even do this real quick if i wanted to to show because really like i i don't want anybody um let me see screen share and then enlarge this oh man this is wild there's like a hundred of me okay but right here on the side um, the first one, 1985, I have it here at Lucky on Three Legs. And this is what I have, the screen share, if you can see it. Um, there we go. So even then, I didn't even get anything else after that. So I can get out of this. You can see <laughs> what's going on here. Stop sharing the screen. Um, all right. Uh, let me see. Last time they shared friends and family coupon on LinkedIn. Man, that's wild. LinkedIn giving giving free coupons. Uh, it's 20% back wall plus 30% total. More than likely, they won't have a back wall sale. They'll only just have friends and family, and they won't have uh, any back wall sale. That's usually what they do. One time it did happen, and Ken remember this one time because that was like pff, easy pickups. Uh, it'd be awesome if they did it again, but I don't see them doing it. Are there any of the 30% off shoes online worth buying? They're offering it right now online. Um, I think some were, but I think they're somewhat gone now. Um, but you can double and triple check. Um, and might be some hidden steals, but you really got to dig deep into that. I got the friends and family invite, but I don't have the coupon code. Uh, let me see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Gabriel says you have to go into the store. The app unlocks the coupon if you have the location enabled. So that's what you have to do tomorrow. Um, it has the rules on there, what to do. Um, so go into the store, unlock that, and then your coupon should show up. Now, we don't know if it's unlimited, one time only. You can use it at different outlets. We will find out tomorrow. All right, so I think we're done. Uh, remember, Friday, very important uh, video. I want you to win the, you know, whatever I'm giving away and it's more than $25. It's an awesome giveaway. So be there early for that uh, Friday video. All right, we're done. And uh, let's see what else is going on. So yeah, friends and family after that, we have eBay open. So it's going to be wild the next two weeks. And I'll let you guys also know on the live shows and more than likely, 
this might be our last one until July 31st because I don't know what's going to happen for next week. I'll keep you guys posted, keep you guys updated, and uh, yeah, see you on the next one. Go out and get it.